This video will be on CMOS. CMOS stands for Complementary MOS. That's what the C stands for. So what this means is that uh, we're going to fabricate N-channel and P-channel MOSFETs on a single wafer. That allows circuit designers to create a, uh, it's a much bigger toolbox for their circuit designers and it allows them to create all these different kinds of circuits um, on a single wafer making it easier to fabricate and cheaper to fabricate which is why uh, CMOS is uh, so widespread in consumer electronics. So there's different kinds of structures, physical structures that you can make in order to put uh, N-channel and P-channel MOSFETs on a single wafer. This first one here, this is called the, the P-well type of fabrication method because you have an N-type silicon wafer. Um, this N-type silicon wafer um, has these, uh, these are the, the source and drain wells and this is uh, then going to form an, a, uh, um, a P-channel MOSFET and the P-well over here is on the N-type uh, silicon wafer you dope a, a well uh, P-type and then you add your, your N-type source and drain contacts and the gates and this becomes now an N-channel MOSFET. Uh, you can also do the reverse of that and start off with a P-type substrate, substrate and create an N-well. So this N-well is going to be your uh, P-channel device and uh, your P-type substrate uh, functions as the area that you're going to put your N-channel devices. Oh, sorry, uh, in all of these uh, we also need to electrically isolate the uh, P-channel and N-channel devices so there's uh, silicon dioxide between them to act as an insulator um, to isolate them that's labeled FOX that stands for field oxide and the another way that you can put N-channel and P-channel devices uh, on the same substrate is you make wells for both of them Okay, so that's this twin well structure uh, down here. So here it doesn't matter what your, your substrate doping is because you're going to create your, your P wells for your N channel devices and your N wells for the P channel devices anyway. For uh, the P and N well, these two fabrication processes, usually uh, you optimize the parameters for the N channel MOSFETs. Um, because those will tend to have better performance because the electron mobility is higher than the home mobility. Um, for the twin wall structure, you can actually optimize the characteristics for both the N and P channel devices because you can control doping in both the P wells uh, and the N wells. And so this allows you to better optimize um, for each type of transistor.